I've realized that I've never worn a ponytail on my YouTube channel. Like I honestly, I never wear ponytails. I feel like I have very layered, like curly wavy hair. So I'm just not feel knowing how I feel about this right now. I usually do like a bun, but we're, we're working with it today. We're just seeing how I feel. This is the first, the first time testing things out. Alrighty guys. So I am back from Portland and I love it. Like I loved it there. It's beautiful. I loved Portland. Like I think honestly, it's getting up there to be my favorite US city. Like I was talking with my husband about this. He loved it too. And we're both like, what are our favorite US cities? And like, we love New York, both of us. Um, obviously I love where I'm from, like shout out to Wichita, Kansas. Um, just like entertainment wise and like things to do and food and like kind of everything combined, you know, like it just was like my personal paradise. I just had such a great time there. Like I want to go back. I want to live there forever, die there <laughs> anyways. So yeah, so it was a really great time. Um, and I also, I always pick up beauty products whenever I'm somewhere that are local to the area. A couple of these things aren't local to the area. They're more just stuff I picked up that I thought you guys might be interested in and I'll do reviews on them at some point. Um, but yeah, let's just roll in. Okay, so I discovered they had a little green beauty store in Portland. It was in the downtown district. It was in the Pearl, I think. And they had, it was called Eco Natural Beauty or something like that. And they're a spa, but they also have makeup and skincare and stuff and it's all green. So the things that I picked up there were the Alima Pure. I got one of their shadows. So actually, if you didn't know this, Alima Pure is based in Portland. Their um, factory is like down the street from this Eco Beauty store. So I'll say the thing I first noticed when I opened this, this does have some sort of fragrance. So if you're super sensitive to any fragrance at all, like even natural fragrance, because this one is a natural fragrance, maybe not for you, but I'm usually not, I have no problems with it. So I got this shade Siren and I, I'll show a picture of all the swatches I did of different shades. I was very impressed with the Lima Pure's eyeshadows. I haven't really seen anyone talk about them, but they are really pretty. Like this one, that wasn't a very good swatch. I'm like, it's like amateur hour every time I do a swatch. I'm like talking and trying to swatch. But when I was in store there, I almost got some of their like more gold kind of warm toned neutral shades. But I was like, Reagan, you know, you need to step outside of your comfort zone and outside of your box. So I got this siren shade and it's like a pinky purple shimmer. And yeah, Let's see if you can get that shimmer. I used this today on my lid and then I used a bit of the RMS living luminizer or whatever on the inner corner. I really do like this shadow. I think you can do a lot with it. Like today, I feel like it does look a bit muted down, right? Where it doesn't look like I'm wearing this like bright pink purple eyeshadow. I used a lot of browns and I'll have everything that I used with it. But the main shade that I did use was this. So yeah, it's super pretty. Highly recommend checking out their eyeshadows. I will say next time I buy, I would probably just purchase the individual pans and not this because I think it was like 22 for an individual pan and like 26 for this. I just don't need this packaging, but I kind of wanted to see what it was like because I haven't really tried a ton of Alima Pure stuff, but I am excited about that. I was, I just thought it was super pretty. Okay, so I did also pick these up at the Eco Beauty Store and, or Echo, I need to call it. Um, it's the Josh Rosebrook Nourish Conditioner and Balance Shampoo. So these are not organ based brands. I'm fully aware of that, but I did pick these up there. Um, I'm trying these out right now to see how I feel about them. Because, and I, the reason that I got the Balance Shampoo was because it's for normal to oily hair. I thought that would really cleanse well. And then I got the Nourish Conditioner Normal to Dry Hair because my hair can be pretty dry, but it does need that extra cleanse to really get the gunk and oils out because I only wash my hair like every four or five days. And I'm going to do, if you heard me talk about the Rahua products in my Alia unboxing video, you'll know that I am doing like a whole trial right now of different like Lux Eco branded shampoos and conditioners. So we'll talk more once I've tried everything out and yeah, I'll do a whole video about that. So that's why I got these. I'm really excited about it. And I got the small ones for that reason. They're two fluent ounces. 
So I was on a street that had a Lush store and I did stop in and I did pick something up. So Lush, honestly, they do, I don't know how I feel about Lush. They have a lot of good things going for them, but then they really aren't the most natural brand if you look at their ingredients, but they kind of brand themselves to be like really natural, but you have to look at the ingredients when you're in there. So I did pick this up. This is their, and I picked it up because I just thought it was weird. Like, honestly, I just thought it was so weird. I wanted it. It's their deodorant bar. So how you use this is after you get out of the shower or something, you just rub this on your skin like this. You don't use the soapy side. You use the powder side. So I'm just interested. I'm rubbing it in right now. It feels very matte and I'm interested to see if this works. I'm going to do a whole video about it just because I'm really curious. The ingredients in this weren't too bad. The only thing that they did use in it is fragrance. Um, fragrance, it's usually something I'm pretty against, but I just really wanted to try this, guys. I just really wanted to try it to see if it worked because it is so much better than a lot of other conventional deodorants out there. So if this does work, it is an, it could be an option for someone. So I want people to be aware of it. So we'll see if it does or doesn't work. Okay, so then I found another store. I can't remember the name of it. It was like a little store and it was both on the east and the west side. So I'll put the name if I can find it. But they had a lot of like local brands and I picked up a few things from them. So I did get this organic herbal bath to sane. I don't know what the hell that means. And relaxing. I haven't even opened this yet. I just realized that guys. I've been getting really into taking like luxurious baths. Like it's like my time kind of thing. Oh, that smells amazing. It smells like rose tea and they give you like a little satchel. I don't want to get all of this everywhere. So I'd rather do it in the bathtub. Okay, there we go. They give you a satchel. So you put some of this little mixture into this satchel and then you drop the satchel into your bath. And I, oh God, that smells so good guys. Yeah, it has rose and lavender and geranium. This is like my scent. That smells so good. So it's Handmade with Love by Chickadee Apothecary. I would check this out, honestly. How much did I pay for it? It was $16.28. This will look cute in my bathroom. Like we live in a small place. So I try and make like some areas, like I have like corners that are just really nice and then everything else is not. Okay, so the lip that I picked up from that little store that I can't remember the name of is the Spella Paint and Play, and I got the shade Asana. I think this looks like a Khloe Kardashian color. Like, what do you guys think? Like, I, I kind of ha have a little, like, secret where I do follow their lives. I don't really follow them on social media, but, like, I know what's up with them, and it's just, it's sad, right? Like, yeah. Anyways, I really liked the formulation of this liquid lip. It's not uber drying or anything. I feel like all liquid lips do, like... To have a good liquid lip, it is a little bit more dry than like a creamy lipstick, right? But it, I feel like it's not super drying. I feel like my lips look really evenly pigmented. This is after like 30 minutes of wearing this. I will say if I do drink water with this, it does kind of go away around my lips a little, like this part of my lips a little bit more. So just be aware of that. If you're like out or something, you might need to reapply. Okay, and then the last thing that I picked up was from the Sea Grape Bath and Body Company. It's the Bad Girl Cocoa Infused Lip Tint. So this was, it was, this one was kind of pricey for like what it is. It's like 1150, but I, the packaging guys, like I just thought it was like, well, that's upside down. I just thought it was kind of cute. Like it was 1150, um, has good ingredients in it. It isn't super pigmented-y. Like I just put, it's very, very light. If you can see that right there. It's pretty, it's just a lip balm. It was again, a little bit pricier than what I normally pay for something like this, but I was on vacation. I was like, I wanna try that. I am glad that I picked it up though. It's kind of like one of those like mini treat yourself kind of things where I was like, I deserve that. Alrighty guys, so I had a great time in Portland. I think it's a great city. It was just super fun. It was just kind of nice to have a weekend away and eat really good food. Like guys, the food in Portland, so good. Alrighty, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Tell me what you think of the pony down below. Like, are we into that or not? I just don't know. Like, I feel like in the back it probably looks kind of weird, but whatever. Okay, guys, have a wonderful, wonderful day or evening wherever you are in the world.